bit about the lighting that we're seeing today and how it syncs with what you're watching. This is actually functionality that we built into Sci-Fi Sync. It's uh, what we call a second screen app. So it delivers extra content in sync with the show that you're watching on your first screen, your television. So the Philips Hue light bulbs are internet connected light bulbs. So basically Sci-Fi Sync takes the audio cues from what you're watching on television, translates them into a timeline that now we use to trigger uh, a light track that's been custom created for what you're watching on screen. This is actually hand done, so someone is actually going through the whole episode and then determining at certain points the value, meaning like how bright the lights are, and then the colors to go with uh, what's happening on scene. And when that person is sitting there coding the lighting, how it's gonna look in somebody's living room, what are you guys trying to achieve? It really depends on the content. I think with 12 Monkeys, it was more about enhancing sort of the mood. So if there's something that's feeling sort of ominous or foreboding, you know, the lights go lower, we're using more muted colors. Uh, but then when we have things like time travel sequences, we can go a little more crazy and have sort of flickering and those sorts of effects that you're seeing on screen. And what is the best benefit to you guys. You're a cable channel. Yep. You're not making money from people lighting up their homes <laughs> in synchronization with your shows, are you? No, not directly, but I think that for us, it all goes back to storytelling and anything we can do to enhance the storytelling experience. And we really felt like this sort of internet of things or the connected home where you had all of these things within your house that are actually connected to the internet. We said, look, what could we do with this to enhance the storytelling experience? And we quickly got to the lighting and realized that we could now make your home part of the experience and to really use an entire room or your entire house to tell the story along with what's happening on the screen. We felt like that was something powerful and something our fans would, would enjoy.